Hi and hello everyone and welcome back to our EU4 multiplayer series featuring myself, Berg787, Torio and Grey Hunter. Hello. Hello. Awesome. awesome. I, just give me two seconds, I will unpause it. I just need to buy mercenaries. Ah. Why do you need mercenaries? So, what are you fighting? Because I, I want to go to war and I don't really have enough manpower to do so. So, ah. But I've got enough money. So I'm going to buy some mercenaries. Doth your war chest overfloweth? Yeah, I've got plenty of cash. <laughs> I got loads right. of money. All right, cool. Hmm. Still can't decide which idea to take. All of the choices. All of the choices, yes. Exactly. Hmm. I think military is the, the way to go. Ah, oh, balls! Just when I fucking bought all these mercenaries, Austria allied the Papal State. <laughs> They're like, leave the Empire, will you? Well, huh? Oh, well. Shouldn't they hate the Pope? I think he removed at least one province from the Empire, no, didn't the he? Pope, the Pope starts with zero provinces in the Empire. Hmm. Well. I could... See... I could do it in a roundabout way. I could declare war in Milan, yeah, and then the Pope jumps in on Milan's side, and then uh, I beat up on the Pope that way. That could work. But the problem is that they, if, if it was just the Pope and Ferreira and Milan, I would fight them, but they've got Savoy as well, and that's just a little bit more than what I can handle right now. Will France help you? No, they're in debt, remember? Yeah, yeah they won't right. join actively. And Austria outnumbers you two to one. Basically, all that money I spent on Mercs was just wasted. <laughs> Could have sent it to France. Yeah, <laughs> just bail money. France out of debt so they'll join a war and get into even more debt. The problem is, is that, like, bailing them out, if, if I knew I was going to be the only one who's using them, then that'd be fine. But, you, you know, I'll probably bail them out and then one of you two will get them into a war and then they'll be fucking in debt again. <laughs> so exactly. To be honest, I, I only have France there as an ally because they will probably join defensive wars, like you said. So if Bohemia decides to get sassy with me again, France will hopefully go, hey, nah, he's our friend. Hey now. <laughs> How, you be stepping too? You be stepping too? Hey now. Hold up there, boy. <laughs> oh, you might even retake your land from Salzburg. That's the plan. That's the plan. If Salzburg starts getting uppity, I'm hoping that France will either stop Bohemia from helping them, or join on my side and let me take everything back. What, what That's the plan. I think Poland hates Bohemia. They should help as well, even in an they offensive would, one. They would if they were in uh, if they were out of debt. But like France. Which is why I wasn't allying people before, but apparently Bohemia is one of those countries that even in massive debt decides, you know, no, I'm cool with that, I'm gonna help you. Maybe it's just an AI thing. You know what, I need to get They're like, hey, we're fighting the player. I think that's because you were rivals, you know? Yeah. I actually really I know. need Poland now because Poland are rivals of, of Austria. Oh. Oh, I'm allied to two rivals of Austria. But the, Basically no. means I won't be allied with Hungary. Poland is... Lithuania is still under Poland, right? Yeah. Yes. So we're all good. They're, they're powerful. Very. They are all powerful. Well, all right, Hungary. No they're not as powerful as France, but Poland and Lithuania together are probably equal. No, no, no. I don't need them to be as powerful as France. I just need... They're basically my... Because at some stage I need to go and fight Austria. And I need someone who will willingly go and fight them. Mm. The thing is, I could ally with Hungary. Because Hungary are allied with Austria, but they would never okay, declare uh, war. I, I am allied with Poland now. Are you allied with Poland already? No, not yet. Um, I am mousing over the declaration of war against Austria and Poland. Mm, would They are 800 in debt only. I and don't need to go to war now with Austria. Mm -hmm. It's like a... You know, I mean, if they weren't in debt, they would very eagerly join, and they are not very much in debt. No, but that, that's that's my point. Like, I don't need them right now, but in general, I'm going to need them. Because having someone who's a right... Because the, the Hungary thing was kind of like, just, well, if Austria were to fight me, maybe Hungary would defend me, or at least help me. I don't need them to fall out defend me. 
But um, I actually want, I actually, what I, what I want to happen is for the Ottomans to take, to, to be bordering Austria. That's really what I need. Oh, well, it doesn't take much. Yeah, but the problem is, is that with Hungary being allied to Austria, I don't think the Ottomans, at least from my experience in the, since the new patch, the Ottomans aren't quite as aggressive against. Um, if you have, um, if I don't know if you've seen that, but Ottomans are fighting Castile at the moment. Yeah, but why? Um, some something in Africa. Yeah, defending probably someone I would imagine. Oops. Yeah, so that that's not them being aggressive though, is it? No, but theoretically they could take something from Naples. I've seen them do that. Yeah, it's a Castilian cru crusade against uh, an African country. So there you go. Does Islam have defense against Defender of the Faith? I can't remember. It does have, I think, a Defender of the Faith. Maybe that's why they're so. in it. Are they? The Defender of the Faith? I don't know. I'm just Maybe. It. Do I put Austria as a rival? I don't think I should just yet, because they're not rivaling me. I could put Tlemcen as a rival. Since they are rivaling me, we'll rival them back. Allied with the Ottomans and Tunis. <laughs> Tit for tat. What? Tlemcen. You rivaled me, I'll rival you. Well, I don't care, I'm either. never going to declare war on them. I'm just going to like embargo on them. Right, embargo rivals. I knew I forgot something. It's not as if like it's not as if like um, you know me and the Ottomans otherwise would be good friends. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I only want the Ottomans to battle border Austria because it causes Austria problems. Not because I'm not because I'm like pro Ottoman invasion of Europe. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I want Yay, them to come and invade kill them. us. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how your brain works sometimes, Tori. I have to try to figure it out. It's like, come on, man. Um, who else do I need to? So there was I couldn't embargo everyone who I was rivaled with before because I had a, like a truce. Is it Milan? Am I rivaled with Milan? It is Milan. Okay. Sweden is very aggressive. Not only did they take most of Denmark, but they actually want my provinces in the north. I like the sound of that. I can go for that. <laughs> Well, I, I have France and Castile and Poland now, so they shouldn't be a threat, but still. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Yes, that's, actually that's build exactly. Down properly. Okay, come on. Technology. Man at levels. farms. What? Man at farms. Oh. The so unit. About, about the great man at farms. Plows the field. Like nobody's business. People underestimate him, you see. Who? What? The man at farms. They underestimate his ability to plow those fields. You never want to underestimate the man at farms. <laughs> and his ability to plow. His farming ability is unmatched. Basically, if you do fight in grasslands or farmlands, woof, forget it. You need like four to one numbers to defeat him. Oh, hello. That hard. Hello. 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 Rise of a what pretender, huh? Six pretender regiments rise. Rise of the pretendertrons. It's just oh, pretend why rebels. Couldn't I have they my don't really care. want to fight. Man, I'm making big bucks. I could probably afford a level two dip uh, advisor. Damn. So Philippe Wilhelm I von Wittelsbach is now in command. He's a 053, and his heir is Ludwig, who is a 363. In fact, I'm going nice. to get a level 2 guy, I think. I might, uh, maybe not. I could afford him. I could get Nicola Machiavelli. Just for the prestige. To give me plus one reputation. But, um... That would put me quite low on... I'd be making about one ducat a month. I think I'd rather just make money for now. Probably best. I want to be able to make at least, like, three ducats a month before I want to say I can afford... You, you know, like, three ducats after I have the level two guy. Yeah, makes sense. Like, that way that way, I'd have two level ones and a level two and still be making three, four ducats, then I'm all right. At the moment, I'd be making, like, about a ducat if I did that. 
Well, I've got quite a lot. I've got quite a lot. I still need to build. I need to build my army back up a bit. Uh, I still need to keep building ships. So, you know, there's all that. There's buildings as well that I want to build, what I am building. That's usually what you do with buildings. What, build them? Yeah. One yes, would think so, but occasionally. Can... Occasionally, that's not what happens. Exactly. Okay, look at them. Sometimes. Visit them. You never can quite tell. It goes to show you never can tell. <laughs> <laughs> it was a teenage wedding and the old folks wished them well. You could see that Torior did truly love the Mademoiselle. Yes, yes, I do. I regret yeah. everything. <laughs> <laughs> Are you being sieged? What's going on here? Oh, pretender rebels. Yep, I had a pretender against my new king. What Is province good? are they in? Pardon? What province are they in? Or were they in? Uh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is the pretender good? Nope. He was really bad. He was about the same as my previous ruler, and I was like, well, I'd really rather have Philippe Wilhelm myself. Oh, wow, I've just realized my prestige has gone up to like 51. Pretty good. Maybe leaving the Empire gave you some? No, there's probably other stuff as well. I just haven't really been paying attention. Because I was actually like negative prestige quite a lot early doors. Not anymore. The Tuscans, very prestigious people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very prestigious people, huh? Little known fact. Prestige. Right. That's it. As the coalition no longer exists, I think it's time to some to do some <laughs> to get one started again. <laughs> as soon as he's over with the coalition the first time, right? Now Let's it's time to people. go back on the war path. Dun, 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 the drums of war. Why can't you hire mercenary boats? Like mercenaries don't come in. Don't come in sea levels. Can you do that in CK too? <laughs> yes. Hire mercenary ships, like pirates or something like that. Yeah, you can hire like transport ships and stuff. Is there a chance that Burgundy can just stay Burgundy, that it doesn't actually ever like? Yes. Just... Yep. Kind of looks it's like that's probably going to happen. Now, happen. It? Yeah. yeah it's What's it up to? Fifteen hundred? Did you say after fifteen hundred it won't happen? I think so. Those events have a time limit, but I don't know exactly what it is. For example, the Iberian Wedding can only could only fire before 1500, and then they changed it to, I think, 1530. I feel like they've changed it to fire, like, super quick. Because <laughs> every yeah. game I've played, it's fired, like, really fast. Well, like... it has a base chance every month, I th or every year, I can't remember if it's month or year, but it's, like, 12%, I'm just saying, which isn't like, that low. I'm just saying, this is the third game, and one of those games, by the way, like, was, like, how long did we play that one where you were Castile? Like, for what, half an hour? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. So I played like three games, one offline one, that one for half an hour, and this one. And it's all, ha they, they, all three times the Iberian Wedding has happened very, very quickly, within the first like five years, ten years. Yeah, it was 1452 when we were playing around testing the connection. Yeah, mm. yeah very quickly. When did it happen this time? Fairly quickly as well. I can't remember. Not that quite quickly, but within 1466. Quick. Oh, you know that for sure. You can well, check the union. Aragon's personal union oh, with right. Castile yeah, yeah, yeah. starts in 1466. No, 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 no. So, so what? 20 years. That's fairly quick still. Yeah, something like that. 16 from the time that it could pop. Mm. So that's pretty quick. Right. One more claim. Salt crisis? Oh, man. <laughs> Not a salt crisis. Minus 10% product efficiency for about a year and a half. Not the Cuts. salt. Two years, actually. I do have some salt provinces. That's why. Romania is a salt province. I think there might be another one. Might be wrong. One thing is good, though. I know that I can get trading in, in wine at some stage. I can have, like, the, the be the monopoly leader in wine, which is good because that lowers your stability cost. Mm -hmm. All right, because you have lots of wine provinces in Tuscany. That's, that's right. I do, yeah. Especially if I can take Arboruzzi, which I took in a previous game. That's also a wine province. Naples still real big fans of me. Despite the fact that um, hmm. I have a claim on their land. 
Do they? France, only 1,082 1, in debt now. <laughs> 1,824, rather, I should say. <laughs> one day, one day they will be out of money. Well, out of debt. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. One day, my friends, one day. And on that day, many wars shall be declared. <laughs> As everyone just plunges them back into debt, calling them in. I was going to say, it's going to be like a scramble to declare who's going to be like the first to declare war. Yeah. Somebody's going to watch our videos and it's just going to be all three of us looking at that menu. <laughs> just looking at the thing, waiting for it to go from a red X to a green tick. The thing is, they will go to war when in debt as well. It's not like impossible for him to go to war, but they need to get that debt down. Yeah. It's just not as likely that they'll decide, you know what? Sounds like a good plan. Let me go do something. Let me go and do stuff. Mm, I stuff started an, another war, if you're interested. Please do you find Naturally. Him? With who? Norway. No Norway? What for? What did the Norwegians ever do to you? They have land next to me. Well, Genoa would ally me. That's quite interesting. Uh, yeah, because I took half of Scotland. Oh. Right. The islands and such. Yeah, I was looking at the mainland. I was like, no, no, they don't. Island and stuff. Island and stuff. All oh, right. Come on, come on. And when I play normally, I play probably on speed four most of the time. And now when we're on speed two, I just keep zooming in and out. We're not. We're not playing speed two. We've been playing speed three this whole uh, Speed three. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Speed three. Well, speed three's all right. Yeah, it's right. I do normally play Speed 4 as well, but like, it's it's fine. Yeah, you need to pause if you're playing Speed 4. Oh, for I God's do sake, not I do again. Speed 4. What happened? <sighs> the nation of Hesse, your faithful ally, is requesting that you come to their aid. Screw because them. The, because the Saxons have decided that they will attack. Saxony is allied with Frankfurt, Magdeburg, and Nassau. Well, you know what? I'm totally not interested. I'll take the prestige hit. Sorry, Hesse. <laughs> Yes. I wish they could be Oh, look at that. The Ottomans are nice allies left. Side, you? Nah. Poland, the thing France, is, and Brandenburg. I All like good. playing small nations, small nations that just can do their own thing. But I'm discovering, because I didn't, I don't play very much EU4 because it's not, as I said, a favoured game of mine compared to CK2 and Victoria and all that. Thanks. And I'm Thanks. noticing. Thanks. <laughs> hey, I like it, but I like the other ones better. And I'm noticing that when you're playing EU4, it's very difficult to just be. You can't just be. It's it's not going to happen. You can. They're not going to let it be. But you need exactly. To, um... I would like to let it be, but I can't. Some people say it be like it be, but it ain't. Often you find yourself in times of trouble. Indeed. Mother Mary, man. Where the fuck... Is the fabricate claim? Oh no, I don't want to fabricate claim on Poland. No, what am I trying to do? I need to give him some money. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> I was trying to give you some money, but I accidentally fabricated a claim on your lands. <laughs> My bad. No, as I was confused between them and Genoa for some reasons. I need to fabricate a claim on Genoa, but I think I'm already doing right. it. Right, so. a likely story. It is. I am actually fabricating a claim on Genoa. Oh no, the coalition is reforming. <laughs> no. Surprise, surprise. Hmm. Well, this is a bit of a pickle. Brandenburg won't help me, because they've got war exhaustion, and they're fighting in another war. France won't, because obviously they're in debt. Poland won't, because they're also in debt. Who are you trying to attack? Well, I was going to attack the Palatinate, but now I can't. Mm. Not unless I want to be outnumbered two to one, and I don't have a burning desire for that to happen. Strangely fuck enough. Fuck a burning love. Calling Trisperan and time to fabricate claims, excellent. Damn it! I can't actually, I can only level the points that I need to ally with them, I can't get over it. Um, shame. who are you trying to get alliance with? Uh, Poland. Yeah. What is Poland up to? Hey Poland, how you doing? If you build up a bit more armies, even temporary mercenaries, that will mm, make them more likely to accept, I think. Also yeah, a yeah. gift. I've given them a gift. It only got them level. I'll be alright. 
They'll see things my way sooner or later. <laughs> Eventually, oh, they're, they're they'll know now. I'm right. They're good now. I knew it. Their, their attitude changed. They became friendly. Like the green heart. So wait a minute. We will all be allied with France and Poland. Well, Apparently they're, so. They're handy allies. I mean, they're genuinely handy allies for me. I need France to fight Castile to try and take Naples. Or at least yep. bits of Naples. I need Poland to help me protect against Austria. And to attack Austria when I need when I get the chance. They're literally the two most the two rivals I need. Pretty much. I sorry, two allies I need. I need France and Poland because they're outside the Empire. They won't have And they're, you know, like... and they're near enough that they will help that they will get involved in your wars. Because like you could exactly. easily get Castile, but they're too far away to actually get involved. I could ask Castile, but what are they gonna do? Not much. I will say, Torio, though, in the future, you've got eyes on, on Burgundy and stuff like that, haven't you? You need parts of that, don't you? Mm, I don't need. I have everything I uh, want from that region. Only need Eventually, to France are basically going to have a big border with you, though. There's going to be a couple of province borders. Possibly, yes. And then that's when things could become a bit hairy for you. Especially if you like to do your normal thing of dishonouring calls of... Uh, <laughs> ...clients' calls. <laughs> Separate piecings, one thing. Not turning up when they need you. Not very good. Yep. Do you think they might uh, have anything against me if I do that? Possibly. I must have more prestige than you. You can only claim... Oh, right. That makes sense. Oh, you can claim was... someone's throne? Well, yeah. I was looking at the Palatinate because they're my dynasty. And I was thinking, oh, well, that would actually be a nice, easy way to, to grab it. But I can't because they won't royal marriage me because they don't like me enough. Like, they really hate me. <laughs> we are not going to be friends. Not in a what million years. King dies? What if their king dies? Oh no, they have an heir, but he's a weak one. Yeah, he's weak. So I could claim the throne, because he's a weak heir, but he's also of my dynasty. He's a wimp! He is, actually. He's really bad. <laughs> actually, isn't he, like, 50 or something? Yeah, he's 45. And the current, the current uh, prince elector... Is 76. 70. <laughs> oh well, oh well. But um, on that note, on ages of princes and electors and all that, we are going to uh, call this episode a end. Thanks for watching, dear viewer. Again, if you did like what you see, make sure you show us that by hitting the like button on all of our channels, if you can, on all the streams. But, you know, if you only do it for one person who you're loyal to watching, do that as well. That's fine. <laughs> Till next time, take care. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye.